you, what's really good to know is that when we run next week, the TOT, um, we will be doing a lot of practice and with the hope that some of you, or maybe all of you, will become trainers of EAFM in the future. I'm um, information officer from the... Information officer? Yes. From the I am at Derek Staples. Could you please so stand you, up? You work in area. <laughs> Could you please stand up? Walk around and just shake hands with other people. <laughs> My nickname is oh, Bird. Megan? Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Those agencies which are not here on these charts. You can, uh, we can, we will be using the uh, pink one. You can have some partnership in fisheries management and that we will be using that one. So you must put the photograph on the correct name, green name. Simon, yeah? Can you play a music? Do you have a special talent? A little bit, a little bit, that's okay. You know a little bit more about people here. Write one hope, one hope that you have for you on this course. On the pink, one concern, one worry, one fear. And maybe you don't appear, it's okay. It's okay, you can generate individual. Maybe not the, the provincial regulation. You know, maybe the fisheries policy wants to do something. <laughs> Remove the carnivores. And then you fish the next one. We haven't got money to send their kids. For marine fishery, we have any other dog? This one, yes. Plants, animals. It's include humans, of course, microorganisms and non-living components of the environment, as well as the introduction. It's an acronym for uh, ecosystem approach to fisheries management, for fisheries management. So you simply put, it's applying the ecosystem approach to fisheries management. So this uh, action, you would like to, uh, to re-fish it again, what we have uh, written earlier this morning. You know, things that are um, environmental. The, this is the same. Yeah. But, but there is an introduction in the right. Uh, MRC and other fisheries projects started. Um, well, basically, I work for a training organization called IMA International, and that's our job. We design and deliver training. So a lot of uh, many resource people and, um, were involved in designing this course and developing this training package, and it has been a group effort over almost more than two years. And so it is not only about the content of the materials, but it's actually about the way we deliver the content and our training approach. We will enhance the social well-being being banned on Bay Sudatani province. Madam Governor and the committee for your support today. Good government. The Tra province is one of the province in eastern part of Thailand. Professor Israel, Dr. Israel mentioned was the importance of the trawler fishery. And we have a goal that this conflict will be, uh, we have to harmonize them. This area is uh, congested, it's very high density of population. I had a very good impression coming to this workshop. I learned that there has been a very good process in, during the actual training and there was great interaction and good results presented. So I'm quite confident this course will achieve its objectives. Not everybody will be immediately practicing his or her training skills good trainers coming through within CFDEC and from the CFDEC member countries to carry this course forward. In a nutshell, this course objectives, which are to build knowledge and skills on the ecosystem approach to fisheries management and also to develop training skills, I think both 
objectives will be met and I'm, I'm quite confident. We are actually starting the TOT in a very practical way. We will do a little practical work and then we will properly start. Um, well, different people will take different things from this course, but on the whole, I think most of the participants have benefited from an improved understanding of what ecosystems approach to fisheries management means what it involves and also about participatory training and participatory approaches to to facilitating group dynamics so i think the participants will well will and are going to benefit in terms of content but also in terms of learning about um new ways of running training courses of you at the front can you kneel so everyone, yes, so everyone can. can still you need to be thinking in advance what possible groupings? What are the linkages between people? Do they know each other? This group will be working in a groups. Then after uh, discussing all the expectation, they come up with a decision. I, I've gained a lot of knowledge from this training course. Before this, I don't even know what is EAFM. I just heard about the word uh, EAFM. But after this course, this I've learned many things, such as uh, how to develop an uh, EAFM plan, the components involved in the EAFM plan, uh, how you engage the stakeholders and how to deal with uh, stakeholders and uh, also the facilitation skills that we need to deal with stakeholders. So overall, uh, I think this course is uh, very useful and I'm really happy to be here to learn about EAFM and I will use this platform to help my people in my country to develop an, a good EAFM plan. This training uh, uh, helps me to build my confidence and my shyness will uh, put away and I think this, is, uh, uh, this will give me more uh, confidence to talk in front of many people in the future. My name is Max Sadnovsky and I work for NOAA Fisheries um, and I'm very happy to be here over the last two weeks participating in the ecosystem approach to fisheries management course um, and one of the takeaways for me this uh, the last few weeks is um, that I'm happy to work with such a, a dedicated group of trainers from CFDEC um, that will be able to, uh, to take the concept of EAFM and bring it back to their respective countries uh, to hopefully, uh, you know, to improve uh, our fisheries management plans. Well, I think specifically for CFDEC, um, for CFDEC as an organization, since we had many, many CFDEC participants, I think it's really important that they take this course forward as they are a strong player in the region. And um, if they can feel that they own the course and they can deliver the training course, um, that would be very strategic. And so I hope that they have taken on board not only the content, but the, the innovative training approaches. And I'm sure from the results and responses that we have had over the, all the days that we have had together, um, I'm confident that, um, that this is possible. And it would be really great to see.